Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Maddles and today I've got game number one of a best of one. It's a nice little fun bit of ladder. It is from Belshia and it stars a Protoss and a Terran. It's a pretty fun game, one of which is a very well known player, the other not so well known but still very pro to be going up against them. So without further ado, spawning up in the top left hand position as the red Protoss player, he represents team Evil Geniuses. It is Mr. In Control. He's a dude, by the way. He's super cool. In the bottom right, his opponent, the blue Terran. It is Smog. I believe I'm saying Smog right. Um, if I'm not, I apologize. I usually apologize. I think I, if I don't recognize someone's name, I'm really terrible at reading them, especially if they don't like just jump out straight at you. Um, also, some capitalization really messes me up. I'm not going to name names, but some players, when I've read their names, because of the way they've capitalized, what should be really easy to say, I just can't read it. I'm just looking at them like, what does that even say? And then I'm like, oh, it says hello. Wow, I feel stupid now. And that's pretty much goes through my mind. Like, probably about 50% of my precast preparation is just trying to work out how to say the player's name sometimes. Which is embarrassing. As a caster, I should never admit it. Um, but anyone who's co-cast with me will... It, will very, very firmly know that quite often before we go live is like, how do I say that? How are we going to pronounce that word? Um, and everyone laughs and it's all good. Usually production laugh at us and they're just like, herp de derp these noob casts. And then we're like, well, you tell us how to say it then. And they're just like, and then we know we're right. And that we're not just crazy and idiots. Well, we are crazy and we are idiots, but production, production don't need to know that. That's fine. Anyway, so... In terms of openings, we do have a pylon right down at the edge there, just making sure no sneaky stuff goes down. Back over at Smog's base, he's getting a refinery after a gas, so that means that it could be Reapers, it could be a reactor. Reaper openings on Belshia, good. Reapers against Protoss, good. Um, but just a little bit late, so probably not going to be anything too great. And oh, the poor probe, in control, what have you done? You've sentenced him to near certain death. Um... Probably is certain death. Probe at least, even trying to fight to its last, not a breath, its last electrical impulse, maybe, for you to control. And you tried to run away. I give you credit there. You tried to save him. Leave no probe behind. Anyway, Cybercore coming down. Engineering Baybok. Oh, in control. You're not going to be happy when you come down here. Just don't send the probe, man. Don't look. Just. Uh, okay, it's not that bad. Kill that SCV. You kill him good. I'm over zooming. I apologize for that. I've got I've got to the point now where I've cast a lot and I've gone slightly crazy. Um, so I would just start zooming in on things and following workers. But of course, work on worker fights are the most intense going. Seriously, it's not just me who thinks that, but it's just like, I can never predict which worker's going to win unless it's like a complete whitewash. And then usually another worker's pulled and you're like, ah! Which way is it going to go? They've got equal speed. It comes down to who's got the biggest balls. Fight. Anyway, Mothership Corp is going to kill the SCV. That's cheating as far as I'm concerned. Worker on worker fights, but I guess the Marine did help out Smog earlier, killing in control's probe. So, all together, it's fairly equal. SCV, uh, sorry, SCV, probe, stalker, and Mothership Corp going to kill this engineering bay. Meanwhile, Smog getting down his command center. All looking okay there, nothing too much to worry about. What's the factory coming up? So, the, uh, the advantage of getting the command center up in the high ramp Smog is if in control comes in here and goes, hmm. You don't have an expansion. Comes up here and doesn't actually manage to scout this with vision, which he may be able to do. Um, but say, hypothetically, he couldn't. He go, well, I know you've got a reactor there, and I only know you've got one base for sure. That's not good, because you could be going for a one base play. That's obviously not too fun. But in control himself, he's getting down to Stargate, so he is going to get some good scouting information and potentially going to deal a little bit of damage. It's not proxied. This probe coming out to scout, though, the SCV just taking a quick little re round the third and going, hmm. He hasn't taken a super greedy third, but to be fair, at like 5 minutes 30 of his SCV was there, a third Nexus it would be more than a little greedy. That would be diabolically crazy. Um, and if it paid off, it would be amazing and we'd all cheer for them. But if it didn't, we'd laugh at it being terrible. Because that's how it works in StarCraft. The, um, well, not even in StarCraft, like anything. It's like, we've all seen the videos on the internet where someone, usually with, say, a skateboard or trying to jump off a roof or something, is just like, I'm going to do it, I'm going to jump off this roof, do a triple backflip, and land in a dustbin filled of water. And what actually happens is they jump off the roof, do zero backflips, fall about 10 foot further forward than they thought they would, and end up like lying sideways over a fence. 
we all laughed. But if they did actually end up doing what they said they wanted to do, then my goodness, they would be prevailed as heroes. And StarCraft's exactly the same when you go for a ballsy build. Anyway, this isn't ballsy because it's an Oracle coming in. It's just going to do a little bit of damage. Of course, six Marines kill an Oracle, and that is more than six. For those of you who can can't count, a line of Marines is eight. Um, and therefore, anything over that is more. So, yeah, it's eight plus three, which makes eleven. We're learning too. This is really a maths and StarCraft together. This Oracle racking up five few kills, actually, though. So, this isn't going incredibly well for Smog at the moment. Um, an Oracle is going to get seven kills, which is very nice for an Oracle. The Marine's finally coming back up here, and the Oracle does need to run away. Um, ideally, it needs to try and keep itself alive. Could even actually waste a bit more mining time by forcing a few more of these SCVs to retreat. We'll get another kill as well. Eight kills in an Oracle. Early game is really solid, and the second Oracle is coming in as well. In control now at 32 to 20, back behind this. He has stopped production of more Oracles, just the two of them, so nothing too crazy. Oh no, the mule's there. There are two Widow Mines on their way through. They're actually going to get focused, but can they get killed before they burrow? The answer is no, but one Widow Mine cannot kill. Yo, can kill an Oracle. Why did I think it couldn't kill an Oracle? Why is my brain broken that badly? I don't know. I'm sure it left it like with one health. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Now, we do see the Force Marines are setting here for dealing no damage. To be fair, they get one worker. This one lone Marine is going to die trying to stand in the corner and hide. The two Widow Mines have come down, but yeah, one worker killed compared to nine. Definitely favoring in control there. No missile turrets have come down, even though. Um, oh no, there isn't actually an engine over there. It's an armory, so it's going to be a mech build coming down here, theoretically, or at least Hellbats. And Hellbats are now getting started, and considering there's two additional barracks, they're probably not going to be mech at the moment. But, yeah, I'd say, all in all, in control is ahead. 42 to 27 workers. No way to sugarcoat that. Protoss player has a better economy. Widow Mine's coming back home. The Oracle is still just chilling out here, banking up some energy. Bit low on health. Could actually move in because there's a couple of marines here. Um, actually, there is enough marines. Seven marines exactly. So he is prepared to deal with any oracle harassment that could be coming back through. The pylon coming up there. Nothing too exciting. The double forge though. That is pretty cool. That suggests that in control, not going to be trying to rush things out, but rather get some good solid upgrades. And considering the fact that the armory and no engineering base have yet been made. That screams to me that in control, especially with the aid of the magical thing called a Chrono Boost, is going to get the upgrade lead by quite a sizable chunk. Double Observer play, moving out, there comes the Chrono Boost, all looking good. More Observers also coming down as well. No Robotics Bay yet, just a Robotic Facility, so no one's just a side. Just a few more gates being added on, that's going to take us up to 6, with 1-1 one, one upgrades, that's pretty nice. The Oracle has come back in, no additional kills though, still only the 8, so nothing too crazy. The Hellbat was spotted though, um, we've got the Immortal coming out here too, so things looking alright actually at the moment for In Control. In terms of the work count, 54 to 35, you take a look at how that affects the income, In Control is still mining a little bit more. Um, despite the fact there are those magical mules there, the gas income as well, fractionally higher for in control because he's got the fourth geyser, whereas it's only three for smog at the moment. So, Twilight Council is going to allow 2 2 to get started as soon as it's done. Also, going to allow Blink and or Charge to get started up to the Templar archives can come down ready for, of course, those high Templar and the stormy weather that every Protoss player hates. They should carry around umbrellas all the time. Take a book out of the British um, survival guide, which is even if it's glorious sunshine outside, Expect rain. And then as long as you're prepared for it, you should be fine. Unfortunately for Terran players, there is no umbrella upgrade. And then the psionic storm will always help. And it's also questionable whether an umbrella would save you from a psionic storm, even if it could be upgraded from a tech lab. Uh, I know even saw a tech lab would justify giving out umbrellas. Um, they'd have to be some kind of like laser umbrellas or something. Um, why am I talking so much about umbrellas? I don't even know. Charge is coming down though. I do also see that the Templar Archives is nearly there. But this is going to be a charge on Archon mid-game push. And that scan, what does it see? The scan sees the Templar Archives, sees the additional gateway, sees the double forge, and sees a pylon being made. So that's all cool. Third base is coming up though, and Smog doesn't know about that yet. If we look at what In Control knows though, he knows that there's a natural, and he knows that there's some stuff. He doesn't know about these bases, he doesn't really know about much else. He's just kind of just chilling there and be like, well... You've probably got marines and hellbats, so whatever. I got a good force. And he does have a good force, so he doesn't need to worry. Storm is coming down here. Um, got more gateways as well being added through here. The 2 2 upgrades on their way. And remember, no upgrades have even been started, bar the plus one ship weapons. That's not going to be too much help because ship weapons isn't great, um, especially when there's no colossi. After I go as far to say, it's when there aren't colossi on the field, plus one ship weapons is useless. 
it serves no purpose. So, a bit of a misread here, thinking there's Colossi when it's actually High Templar. But In Control is going to like that because it means that, hey, no Ghost Academy getting thrown down, no EMPs, no snipes. But what there will be is all of the units, all of the SCVs. And Smog is going pretty all in now. Um, 11 and 7 workers remaining there. He's pulled a lot of SCVs, a lot of SCVs. Ooh, Hellbat drops also queued up. In control, they withers observer here is just going like, I don't know what you do, and Storm is just 20 seconds away from completion. I can't overestimate how important a storm would be. There's two high temple just chilling here. They've really got enough energy. Can in control hold long enough to do this? Down comes the hellback drop. Both over trying to deal a bit more damage. Storm is now done. Where are the storms at Arkham getting moved in? Storm in control. Storm, do it. Do it. There we go. That is exactly what we wanted. And now suddenly this could go back. They was trying to hold as best he can. All of the SCPs being annihilated. 58 workers. Just 25 in control, pulling probes. He's trying to make this work. The Archon morphing in. It's not quite ready with 2 2 yet, but he does have 1 1 up against no upgrades. In control, desperately trying to help. But after putting those probes in work conditions, looking slightly more equal to the Archon, doing as much damage as possible. This is so close. The Zenith trying to close up the distance. 2 2 upgrades are just 15 seconds away from being done. It is very close. The Storm is trying to pick away. There is now a bit of action. Poke overcharge has gone and in control. Barely, barely not able to hold this at the moment. Can the reinforcements do enough with the Archon getting focused down? And that is not what he wanted to see. But there is now that and Morton trying to do a little bit of damage, taking out the borders. Zealots coming in from behind. Of course, more units getting pulled, more infantry rallied across the map. In control, trying to fight for his life at the moment. And has he been able to hold this off? Well, pulling back momentarily, Smog trying to just get off those reinforcements again. Pulling all of the SCVs now. This can't get much more all in. Yes, there are mules, and mules are good units, but will it be enough? The Oracle coming over, just gonna see is he seeing the SCV? Oh, no, he hasn't yet. Pulling back a bit further. There's no observer out as far as I know. In control, trying to get out a couple more Zeds. Two high Templar, they're gonna be morphing into an Archon. There is the third Nexus, remember. 33 to 31 workers, but the income is massively in in control's favor but can he get enough the oracle even come back to provide a little bit of additional dps the scv's now seen they're going to buffer a lot of damage the charge rods going in for it the oh, trying to do a little bit more damage the archon in the back just trying to pick this away but it instantly gets annihilated more charge rods coming through the immortal at the back trying to pick off a couple more workers but there are so many medevacs in control leaves the game really not happy with the all-in and smog is victorious so congratulations to him if you enjoyed that game make sure you like the video make sure you leave a cool comment and of course subscribe i get new games up daily so i hope to see each and every one of you tomorrow for yet another new cast i'm maddles thanks for watching and bye for now